Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a really cool little tool that I picked up at my local Menards for about $9. It's a blade removal tool and it helps obviously to remove the blade off of your lawnmower. Now I know that you could use a board to help assist keeping that blade stabilized while you remove that, that bolt, but this is pretty unique and I thought, eh, I'll show it to you guys. Now I can't take credit for discovering this by any stretch of the imagination. Turf Mechanic had it in one of his videos and his video was more about, you know, getting started for the year. And I just want to show just this little tool because like I said, it is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and use it on my 2014 Time Master. So this is a perfect example on why the blade removal tool is very useful. I can remove this blade very easily using my impact driver. It just comes right off. Problem with this is, on this side, I can hammer all day long with it and it doesn't come off. So we're going to go ahead and use the blade removal tool on this particular blade. So with the tool, we want to make sure that the blade goes in this cavity and then we tighten that down onto the outside of the, the mower frame. Once you have everything situated, you just need to tighten this back piece down and it will lock in the blade from turning. You can see here on the back side, it is on the metal. It's not going through the little plastic housing. And the blade is in that cavity. And now with our breaker bar in our 5 8 socket, just break it free. <clears throat> To sharpen the blade, I like to use an angle grinder with a 60 degree flat disc. And when you run your flat disc over your blade, just lightly clean that up. Just enough to get a little bit of an edge on there is all you really need. And you can see just a couple of passes gets it nice and cleaned up. So I'm going to finish up this one and the other blade so we can get it back on to the mower. Now when we go to put our blade back on the mower, we want to make sure that we have it in the proper direction when it's going to rotate. In the case of the blades I have here, you can see that it is a high lift blade and we want that high lift to go towards the mower deck. That way we know that it will be rotating in the proper direction and not backwards in the wrong direction. So we need our alignment washer that goes on here and make sure it lines up with the spindle. We put our bolt on. Let's go ahead and do the other blade. Again, high lift is going to go towards the deck. Thing's nice about those alignment keys is it keeps our blades from running into each other and that's all there is to putting them back on I hope you enjoyed the video you may want to go out and get yourself one of these little deals like I said it work out wonderfully that way you don't have to carry around a board special board for it you can just have this little tool 
$9 at Menards. You can't beat that. Please, if you like the video and you want to see more of this type of content, and I will be getting out in the yard, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Would you waste your money on $9? Or do you like the board method? Let me know. Take care.